Hi guys, I am back from my workout here at the gym. I uh, took the P90X today on the laptop like usual and it was day one again. Starting back at day one, so I have my full 90 days. No holidays, no celebrations, no food. <laughs> no bad food anyway. So um, back from that, had a week off for Christmas and I could tell. I could definitely tell. It was a great feeling. I was getting my sweat on. Uh, I was pushing myself but it, it hurt and I can definitely tell that I missed a week but I was glad to be back I feel good now um, had a protein shake when I got back and looking at um, fish tacos I think again for dinner love my fish tacos so but while I was there I had a friend show up and I was thinking as we were working out you know maybe this could be an accountability partner um, which I talk a lot about with having someone there to help you to keep you on track and push you and as I'm watching this person work out with me uh, I realized that she's more of a distraction. Um, so when I talk about your accountability partners, I want to I want to emphasize on that. You want somebody there that's going to push you. Okay, it's not a time to go to the gym and lollygag and talk about what you watched last night on TV and gossip about your girlfriend over here who's doing this or doing that. It's a time to get there and push. Um, so I ended up not asking this person to meet me here and uh, kind of help keep me accountable because I I didn't get that feeling. I didn't have that drive with her. So um, I'm going to really emphasize again that you want somebody there who, you know, if, if you're running on the treadmill or you're just starting to run on the treadmill or you're doing P90X at the gym and you're working on push-ups or pull-ups, you want somebody there that's going to push you, that's going to say, I can do 12. Can you do 12? I'm going to do 13. Can you do 13? Um, or 10 or 20 or whatever, or lift this much or push that hard. You want somebody there that's really going to challenge you and that you're going to do the same. That's the whole point of going. We wouldn't buy a thoroughbred to keep in the stall. We wouldn't buy a race car to drive 30 miles an hour around a track. So why are we going to spend the time and the money going to the gym and focusing and trying to eat right to not really work? It, it just doesn't make any sense. So I really want to emphasize, find a buddy that's going to push you, not a buddy to go and just shoot the shit with, that you're defeating the whole point. Um, so if you're there and you're on the treadmill and you're walking or on the elliptical or the bike or whatever, and you guys are just talking and you're not really working, you're not pushing, you're not racing each other, you're not seeing how who can reach their target heart rate faster, or whatever you're, you're doing. If you're not doing it, get your ass off the equipment and go home because you're wasting your time, you're wasting the machine, and you're wasting somebody else's time that could be on that machine really doing it. Um, it's one of my pet peeves when I see people on the machines and they're, you know, or using the weights that I want to use. And they're just kind of <laughs> checking themselves out in the mirror and talking to the girlfriend about how drunk they got last night or, you know, all the stupid shit that people do. I'm there. I'm on a pers mission. I'm moving with a purpose. I want to get in. I want to get my workout on, and I want to feel good. And I want to hear about what you did last night with your boyfriend or what she did. I don't care. So if you're not going to use the equipment, whether it's the elliptical, the treadmill, the weights, the pull-up bars, the whatever it is, but get out of my way. <laughs> and if you're doing that, get out of the way so somebody else can do it. Um, so I really want you to look at, look at your buddy. Look at your partner that you have that's helping you um, find your, your strength and your, and your energy inside of you to become that better person. And if they're not doing it enough for you, then don't have them be your accountability partner. Tell them, I need more. Or, you know, find a different time to go. Find a different buddy. Or push that person and let them know. Maybe they don't know that you're really wanting to really get in there and really do some hardcore workout. Maybe they think they're the, they're doing the right thing. So talk to your buddy, talk to your friend, whether it's you know your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your sister, your mom, your brother, your aunt, your uncle, friend, whatever. You have to talk to them because maybe they're following your lead and maybe your lead isn't what they want. Maybe they're thinking the same thing. So talk to them and say, hey, this is what I'm really wanting out of my workout. Do you want the same thing? Because if not, then we need to kind of figure something out. Because I really want to get in here and I really want to push myself and I really want to feel the burn. And if they don't, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But is it right for you? You may be at different levels. So that's my soapbox today. And I just want to say think about that and make sure that you're both on the same page. Because I don't, I don't think it's a bad thing to talk to your accountability partner. And, and say, you know, I'm needing more from you. I need you to really push me. And if they don't feel comfortable, then find a different one. Find somebody that will. Or tell them, if I start slacking off, yell at me. 
If I start slacking off, you know, do this or do that. Do what works for you. Because the way you work out and the way I work out are not going to be the same, and that's fine. But you got to do what works for you. So I just wanted to say that. I was thinking about that today on the way home from the gym and um, thinking I had a great workout, and I'm glad I ended up veering away from that person and just going and focusing on my, on my workout because I ended up getting a great workout, and I love the way I feel today because of that. So don't miss out on what you could be getting. <coughs> Excuse me. And don't settle for anything less than what you don't want. So do your thing. Bring it extreme ways all the time think about your food diet's huge so we'll talk about that later but hope everybody's having a great monday get your workout in feel good and i'll see you guys later bye